to cycle of a tandem cell through hematite to perform photosynthesis. Throughout researching our topic of using hematite as a catalyst for tandem cells to perform photosynthesis, we discovered its potential to not only transform light energy, but create an efficiency, efficient energy source to provide oil, fuel, and an overall cleaner form of living. When discovering the roles of each component of our version of photosynthesis, we attempted to transform direct sunlight and its reflections off of the hematite, but realized its reflection would not be a su sufficient source as it only produced a minuscule efficiency rate of 0.3%. Though this is a 0.1% higher efficiency rate than natural photosyn photosyn photosynthesis through a common plant, this isn't enough to power a car, even if it's mostly reliant upon unleaded fuel. Our objective is to use the semiconductor and water oxidation catalyst hematite as a filtration system for the crude petrol and ethanol that we infuse into our lives in our cars, creating a planet that will, that will quickly deteriorate our, un our comfortable quality of living. Our goal is to industrialize a water oxidation filter that can penetrate light through a solar-driven semiconductor to mediate the hematite electrodes of tandem cells. By completing this process, the kinetic water splitting efficiency of tandem cells will create a photocatalytic water oxidation. Essentially, we will produce a product that will conduct a photosynthesis-driven water-splitting filtration system that will provide a cleaner, more environmentally safe fuel to drive our cars by extracting water from petrol to then use it for a photosynthesis process that will produce a cleaner and more efficient fuel. Doing this, we will produce a filter and additive that will be placed in the tube that transforms the crude petrol and have a silicone-based window that will allow sunlight to obstruct the process of water splitting. This will resemble a similar function that a carburetor in a car does. Though there is some carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it is not, a, it is not sufficient enough to produce artificial photosynthesis. We have produced a heat segment that will allow more carbon dioxide to be produced and therefore more photosynthesis and greater production rates. We have now produced artificial rubibi by contributing CO2, extracting water molecules from petrol, and in addition to the other key features, we have infused light energy from our windowed solar panel to ensure stability within not only gasoline and petrol, but also within our modified carburetor prototype. In the future, we shall also manufacture a timeless automobile and energy source that shall eradicate any heterotrophic creatures that dare stand in our shining luminous of greatness. Here we have our visual representation of our filtration prototype. In this specific example, it is placed in a gas pump, but in the future will be produced for large functions, such as cars. To wrap things up, we have our words worth knowing. Catalyst, a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction. Tandem cells, a multi-junction solar cell turned to different wavelengths of light. And then we have hematite, which is a reddish black mineral consisting of ferric oxide, which acts as a semiconductor during artificial photosynthesis. Our process of photosynthesis is very complicated, so it won't be widely produced anytime soon, but it's very cost effective and highly efficient, which will make it a high contender for energy usage in the future.